Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. Again, we're going to take a look at Dollar Cad. Last week we spoke about this potential move forming on the weekly time frame. And uh, we're going to revisit that as price is still hanging around that key area of support. And we've got a bit more confluence to, to back it up now. We can see that this week the US dollar has gone. Uh, and continue to be in that reversal sort of area and the Canadian dollar has um, continued to weaken which is what you want to see if we're looking to buy dollar CAD we are looking for the dollar to reverse and gain strength and we're looking for the Canadian dollar to lose value which is exactly what we're seeing here on the market at the moment especially with the dollar being at this key reversal area we want to be looking for the potential for the market to continue to the upside now looking at the weekly and how it's closed last week we we're just kind of looking at how the market would close around about this 128 level so we'll just pop that level back in just through here we we're looking to see how the market reacted because looking left at this zone we can see the market has reacted in this area quite often in the past whether it would be as a resistance level or as a support level okay now the market has retested this structure what we looked at was the fact that we're in this oversold condition and we looked at previous oversold conditions on dollar cad and that it typically sees the market rally up into an area of resistance so if we were marking this up we would say well we're finding support in here now where is the next point of resistance? And the next point of resistance for me is around about this 129.76 all the way up into the 1.3 zone just through here. Again, just kind of highlighting the fact that the market has been in and around this area before, has found various support and resistance from this point in here. So is the market going to retrace this impulse? and head back towards this level of resistance to then either continue the trend or reverse the trend to the upside okay so 1.3 big big level on dollar cad could expect the market to retest this level now how can we try that well it's really important to look at the mid-term trend and we take we like to take a look at the uh, four hour time frame to gauge that sort of trend and see how the market moves now last week we looked at this sort of uh, double bottom pattern that was potentially forming in here um, and the market didn't actually complete the pattern in the end it just continued to move sideways it then broke to the downside the pattern would have been completed if we had that higher high higher close we could have then traded the neckline for that pullback move through here um, however the market is forming another double bottom pattern a little bit lower down and if we're going to see this pattern complete we would need to see price break and close above 127.92 if price breaks this area in here gives us two successful higher high higher closes then that will signify a change of momentum here change of trend and we'd look for the market to retest that neckline area to trade back up into this resistance zone. So keep an eye on dollar cad this week again. Last week we were waiting for that breakout, didn't quite get it. Looking pretty more promising this week, um, especially with that weekly indecision close. If we get any kind of uh, pullback here, look for targets around about that 1.3 level of resistance. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.